Good morning, students of grade 8 and 9. We are going to continue simple machine. After our last class, we discussed up to pulley. Today, we are going to discuss wheel and axle. Okay, uh, wheel and axle actually uh, it is made up of two cylinders. Okay, and um, among these two cylinder, one of one of the cylinder has smaller radius, whereas another cylinder has larger radius. Okay, uh, the combination of two cylinders in which uh, one of the cylinder has larger radius and another cylinder has smaller radius, or you can say combination of two uh, cylinder having different diameters. Okay, a combination of two cylinder having different diameter in such a way that they have common center. Okay, common center. They are um, they have common center so that uh, they rotate together. If you rotate wheel, axle also rotates. Or if you rotate axle, wheel also rotates. Okay, such so kind of uh, device is known as wheel and axle. So simply, wheel and axle, you need to um, keep certain points in your mind while defining wheel and axle. Is defined as two. Um, concyclic circle see the word concyclic means two circles having same uh, center okay two set two circles having same center okay two concyclic circles sorry uh, cylinder having different diameters which rotate together okay the few points you need to uh, memorize few points first of all concyclic cylinders okay first point is concyclic cylinders next point different diameters having different diameters and next point which rotate together okay uh, keep in mind these three points then you will get the definition of wheel and axle it is easier to um, understand wheel and axle okay for example some examples of wheel and axle are you know, a screwdriver screwdriver in case of screwdriver it is somewhat like this yes? a larger cylinder is kept and a smaller cylinder is kept isn't it and at the tip of that smaller cylinder a waist is um cape okay and this waist it fits in screw now uh, you apply force in the larger cylinder isn't it you apply force in the larger cylinder and then you rotate it along with larger cylinder the smaller cylinder also rotates however if um this screwdriver does not have this handle if the screwdriver is only this much then now believe me it would be almost impossible to open the knot it would be almost impossible to open up the screw okay it is only because of the handle it is possible and sometimes if you need to open up very tight screw then um you might have seen a setting like this let me show you okay some people make a screw in this way also okay so that it in see it increases our overall radius okay this part we call handle but here this part act as wheel and this part act as axle so by keeping it longer um it increases radius yes it increases diameter and it makes easier to rotate okay? or have you ever um have you ever seen um unscrewing the um vehicles not of uh, vehicle tire in case of puncture or something in movies also you might have seen okay they use uh, the something some socket here okay and that socket has a handle like this isn't it and then uh, you apply force here and then you rotate it in that way 
the knot also gets rotated okay now know this if um this wrench okay it is called wrench if this wrench has shorter handle then it would be very difficult to open up the screw okay if you if it is as it has longer wrench then it would be easier to open up the screw okay okay so all screwdrivers are actually an example of wheel in action another example is steering of car steering of car okay and um okay you already know what a steering of car looks like it is somewhat like this it has a wheel yes and then it is connected to an axle yes and that axle is further connected to uh, several uh, mechanism here devices here that would finally al ultimately that would turn the wheel of car okay let's not go over the detail here because um, that is the knowledge related to engineering i actually do not have that much okay i cannot afford that much okay anyway this uh, look at here uh, this is a steering wheel okay now uh, what do you do when you need to turn the car in a certain direction you rotate this wheel yes you rotate this wheel okay now what happens if you do not have this wheel in your steering you you are just given um the um axle you're just given the axle what happens if the steering wheel has been removed and you have to turn over the axle it would be too much difficult okay that's why smaller car have smaller steering wheel whereas larger trucks and bus have very large steering wheel why because increasing the diameter it increases it multiplies force okay similarly you know bicycle wheel by Bi sorry uh, bicycle handle it is somewhat like this yes and in this handle um, a wheel is a chest okay your bicycle handle. I'm not I'll not draw the rest part of the bicycle this is the bicycle handle it does not look like a, a wheel does it no but when you rotate it, it takes the shape of a wheel. Okay, that's why it is also considered as the wheel. Okay, and this part is axle. Yes, you uh, catch in um, two tips of the handle and then you rotate. By rotating the handle, um, the tire axle also rotates and as a result, tire also uh, changes to different direction. Now, try um, one experiment try to grab the axle and turn the wheel how hard it will be just see okay uh, don't do it while driving okay while cycling don't do it while cycling you might fall out of balance so do it while uh, you're at rest okay when while you're not cycling just uh, grab the axle and try to turn the wheel it will be very much difficult okay so uh, the handle of bicycle or a handle of a uh, motorcycle they are also an example of wheel and action okay handle of bike okay i'm going to say etc okay this one is about wheel and action okay um now um next let's turn to the velocity ratio of wheel and action velocity ratio as you know velocity ratio means vr means uh, velocity of effort divided by velocity of load we know this much yes now velocity of effort means distance covered by effort by time isn't it distance covered by effort by time and velocity of load means 
distance covered by load. by time now you can cancel time okay from both numerator and denominator now what is distance covered by effort in case of wheel and axle okay. let me draw once again the simple diagram of um, wheel and axle it is somewhat like this yes now um, if you rotate one complete road if you completely rotate the wheel one complete rotation then what distance will effort um, cover up effort is apply, always applied on wheel okay if you rotate wheel by one complete rotation then what will be the distance covered by effort it will be same as circumference of wheel okay so distance covered by effort is same as circumference of wheel Okay, uh, like uh, let's um, take an example. Let me see if I have any circular object. Okay, suppose this uh, blue um, one, let it be a marker, yes. Uh, effort is applied exactly at this point. If you rotate the wheel, if it is, uh, sorry, if it is rotated like this, see I started from here, isn't it? You rotate like this, then when it um, completes, one complete circle then what distance is covered by effort it is same as the circumference of the wheel okay similarly if this was an axle then also load is placed load is applied at some point yes isn't it so let's say this blue marker it, it, it consider it is a load in that case when it is completely it completes one complete circle when it rotates one complete circle then load will also have covered the same distance as the circumference of the axle that is why uh, distance covered by effort is marked by circumference of wheel whereas distance covered by load will be circumference of axle okay now in case of wheel if its uh, radius is given by capital r and in case of axle, its radius is given by small r. Then you know the formula to calculate circumference is 2 pi capital R. And circumference of axle would be 2 pi small r. Now 2 to cancel, pi pi cancel. Therefore, in case of wheel and axle, vr will be equals to capital R by small r. Okay. And this formula we will use in the numerical. And again, ma the formula for m a is same for all simple machine m a equals to l by e and for efficiency also same m a by v r into 100 percent okay take out these three <coughs> formulas these three formulas will be used in our numericals related to wheel and actual okay now one last um, concept is remaining regarding wheel and axle and that is take out this is an important question wheel and axle is called a continuous labor why see there is a marked difference okay we are saying wheel and axle is continuous lever hmm. but Wheel and axle, they are cylindrical object and lever is just a rod-like object, long rod. How can you consider wheel and axle as a uh, lever? Now see, um, if I draw the cross section of wheel and axle, this is a wheel, yes? And this is the center of wheel, okay? And we said concentric or concyclic circle or concentric circle cylinders means um, another cylinder, the smaller cylinder, also has the same center. Now, this is wheel seeing from the side and this is axle seeing from the side. Now, when you apply um, effort at this point, know that load is always applied at this point. Okay, Load is always kept in axle, whereas uh, effort is applied in wheel. This is effort, this is load. So, effort in wheel and axle, effort is actually applied at this point 
okay and load is actually applied at this point whereas um this is the fulcrum the center of port wheel and actually it act as the fulcrum now if you join a uh, load fulcrum and effort then you see it always gives a straight line which is an imaginary lever okay this is an imaginary lever so our if we neglect the circular structure of wheel and axle, if you only consider the position of load, fulcrum and effort, it actually is a lever. It is first class lever in which fulcrum is in between load and effort. Okay. Now, if you rotate the wheel, okay, if you rotate the wheel, if you apply effort downward, the load will be moved upward. If you rotate the wheel, then um, suppose this point, the point A comes to point E. This point comes to here. Okay. And then uh, in case of actual this point, suppose B, this point comes to L. In that case also, see the point on wheel and point on axis are continuously changing, but the relative position of load and effort and fulcrum are not changing. Understood or not? Right now, um, effort is applied here, isn't it? Now, when it rotates, okay, when the wheel rotates and point A comes to this point and uh, point B comes to, uh, previously point B was here, it comes to here, isn't it? Then, uh, effort is applied at this point and load comes to this point. Then again, you can see uh, the relative position of uh, effort, fulcrum and load are the same it is not changed it remains the same so now uh, although wheel and axle co rotates continuously although wheel and axle rotates continuously load fulcrum and effort keeps on forming a straight line okay although wheel and axle continuously uh, rotates the um, load effort and load effort and fulcrum keep on forming a straight line which act as a lever okay that is why wheel and axle is also called a continuous lever okay so now um, you can give the answer although wheel and axle keeps on rotating relative position slash point whatever you write of load effort and fulcrum remains the same which continuously form a straight line so it is called a continuous lever okay I'll pause the screen and then you can copy it okay uh, now let's go to next topic inclined plane okay for grade 8 inclined plane will be the last topic in this lesson whereas for grade 9 we need to discuss about one more topic that is law of moment that we will be discussing in our next class okay inclined plane means the name suggests it a plane surface which remains at certain angle to the ground okay a plane surface which remains at certain angle to the ground is called inclined surface a plane surface that remains at certain angle to the ground is called 
inclined plane okay now in case this is an inclined plane and it is called height of plane okay what height do you gain by using this plane that is small s and this is called length of plane length of plane that means small n okay now uh, you keep you slide the load over here and you apply effort in this direction yes this is load you apply effort in this direction and from here you take load up to here isn't it so this is the distance the effort I have to cover okay this is the distance effort I have to cover but load has been displaced only this much height okay load was pre initially load was at ground level and by using inclined plane you shifted load to this much height so height of plane is considered as the uh, distance covered by load here distance covered by effort is equals to length of plane that is e d equals to l and distance covered by load is equals to height of plane that is ld is equals to h then vr equals to, you know vr equals to ed by lds now in case of inclined plane ed is represented by small l and ld is represented by s so you can use this formula vr equals to l by s and whereas for ma you have the same formula l by e and for efficiency sorry for efficiency also you have same formula ma by vr into 100 percent see formula of m and efficiency remains the same for all simple machines but uh, the formula the relation of vr differs according to different types of simple machine okay so this formula so you need to use while doing numerical and num i'll give you home assignment numerical as the home assignment okay now our last topic we are going to discuss in uh, inclined plane is this is very common question um, why is um, why is winding road made in hills okay if you have gone out of valley you might have noticed that at some places like um, Nagdunga, yes, and Nagdunga and um, Sinduli, okay, in some places the road passes through hill, okay. The road starts from base of hill and you need to get to the top of hill. Now, if uh, the road is simply made as per the slope of hill then it might be impossible for bosses to climb that hill maybe it was it might be possible for humans to climb but for bosses and vehicles it might it is not possible in such case what they do roads are constructed like this at certain slope the slope is never made more than 30 degree okay because most of the vehicles cannot climb more than 30 degree of slope okay the road is made um, as a slope of 30 degree and then again here they take another turn and another slope it also goes okay to horizon it also makes 30 degree angle and then it again uh, takes another turn like this and by several such spiral they get to the uh, the road gets to the top of hill isn't it this kind of road they are winding road uh, we also called Nag Bailey 
yes nag belly okay in um after crossing thankur you will face this kind of road in nagdunga okay and if you are going through a uh, bp highway then at sinduli uh, this type of road is constructed over there yes now why is it made so the first reason is vehicles cannot climb uh, the slope of more than 30 degree now in terms of um, simple machine in terms of simple machine what we can say that by making winding roads effort distance okay length of inclined plane length of inclined plane that means effort distance is greatly increased isn't it now see if winding road is not made then uh, this much would be effort distance yes only this much but by making winding road it has been increased by several times the total effort distance has been increased by several times then from the principle of simple machine the principle of simple machine holds true for all type of machine okay it says that l into ld is equals to e into ed or by cross multiplying you get l by e is equals to ed by ld now l by e means ma equals to ed by ld now by constructing on the winding road you are changing length of plane or you are changing effort distance but are you changing or are you altering the height of plane no whether you take direct path or you take the winding road you are gaining same altitude okay you are gaining the same height okay that means load distance is constant here load distance remains constant whether you go through this um, vertical height okay or whether you go through the slope of hill or you go through the road for load distance or height of plane remains the same what changes only effort distance changes so keeping load distance constant keeping load distance constant what you get ma is directly proportional to ed okay so uh, you already stated that by making the road winding you are increasing effort distance so m is directly proportional to effort distance means by increasing effort distance mechanical advantage is also increased so by increasing effort distance mechanical advantage is increased yes um, less amount of force is needed to overcome the load okay this much is the answer now the same applies to uh, cycling as well while cycling try to climb a steep slope or um, a poor slope which one would be easier like one of the road is sloped like this okay ukalo one of the road has slope like this and another road has slope like this which one would be easier to climb while cycling definitely it will be this one this one would be hard yes the same principle applies here as well okay okay um you take this question once again okay pause the screen copy the question take out the figure and then copy the solution okay um now uh, I'm going to give you some numericals for your assignment. Let me.
pause the screen and copy the question. Okay, uh, take these two numericals as your assignment. The first one is the numerical on wheel and axle, and the second one is the numerical on inclined plane. Okay, I'm going to read. If you understand my handwriting, just uh, pause the screen and copy the question. Otherwise, I'm going to read it. In a wheel and axle, the radius of the wheel is 20 cm and that of axle is 4 cm. If a load of 1000 Newton is lifted by using an effort of 300 Newton on it, calculate MA, VR and efficiency. Second one, calculate MA, VR and efficiency of given inclined plane where length of inclined plane is 15 meter and height of inclined plane is 8 meter. Okay, and uh, load applied here is 600 Newton while to pull it 400 Newton of effort is applied okay okay um, the dismount is your assignment okay for grade 8 um, your lesson on simple machine is this much we will be doing um, exercise I'll post you the exercise as your assignment for grade 9 uh, we will continue um, to our next class on the law of moment then we will also do exercise okay this much for today thank you class